Hi everyone, it's Scott here, uh, back with another video. I just wanted to do something uh, on the, the changes, the differences in the new version of Dragon for the Mac. Now, one thing that's really struck me, um, speaking to a lot of people recently, um, is that there are an incredible amount of Dragon users on Mac. Now, up until recently, up until a few years back, that certainly wasn't the case. Uh, the PC version, which I have running up here, um, was very much the de facto standard. And the Mac version, uh, which was actually a, a piece of software called Mac Speech Dictate, that Nuance uh, rebranded as Dragon, uh, was very much a second tier product. Um, and I think that was mainly because at the time of the market share of the Mac, it was obviously much, much lower than that of Windows. And that's changed dramatically now. I mean, you only have to look at any news story about PC sales to know that computers running Windows, although they're still bought in huge quantities, obviously, especially by businesses, um, desktop sales of computers, of, of PCs, has have dramatically uh, declined they continue to decline year on year whereas mac computers continue to rise now they may still make up a small percentage overall of the entire pc market but it's the only part of the pc market that's actually growing and you know they've gone from probably you know four percent market share once upon a time to probably about double that you know if not triple that i don't know the figures exactly but you know it, it's growing it's going upwards and upwards and it's very interesting i think when you compare the amount of uh, pcs in circulation in businesses in colleges universities schools they kind of skew the numbers a little bit because obviously those places buy pcs in huge quantities but consumers certainly and, and creative professionals are buying Macs in droves and they've always been the choice of creative professionals. I used Macs uh, for many, many years, uh, of the, most of the last you know, decade really I was on Mac and I've only recently switched back to, to PCs because mainly of Dragon uh, and because I like the Surface Pro uh, 4 and I use that. But Macs are very much uh, a major market now for, for nuance and it seems like they are finally giving dragon a little bit of um love <laughs> and what they've done is dramatically changed the interface now what we see here this is just a screenshot because obviously i'm on a pc but this is the older version this is it says version three here but it's the same in version four uh, this is uh, how Dictate looked before on the Mac. Now, it was in, in, interesting to, to note, incidentally, that the product up until version 4 was called Dragon Dictate. They've now dropped the Dictate name, and it's just called Dragon for Mac now. So if you get Dragon for Mac, it's version 5, the, the latest version. Now, what uh, Dictate uh, did was give you a little window here, which really serve the same function as this, the Dragon Bar, uh, on the PC version, Dragon Naturally Speaking. Um, so this was equivalent to this up here, okay? Um, now obviously all of your options are within the Dragon Bar uh, in Windows. So what uh, the Mac version did was, was have this to activate the microphone and the dictation modes, and then a menu along the top here which gave you all of these other uh, options now you can see that there's a, re a review here uh, from Macworld uh, and that shows how uh, you would dictate into the window you'd activate the microphone dictate into the window here and you get your corrections over here this is the transcription um, uh, function within Dragon Dictate uh, four and uh, this is still kind of similar in version five they've just given it a new skin really they, they, they've given it a lick of paint 
Um, now over here, this is a video I found by somebody called Zandrew Tate. I'll link to all of this down below if you want to have a look at it. Um, where he is actually um, dictating using the transcription function within um, Dragon for Mac version 5, as you can see here. And you see the transcription coming in there. So this is the transcription training that is currently within version 5 for the Mac. And you see how it asks you to ignore or accept certain things it recognizes uh, in order to train it. Um, and you can press the play button here to, to listen to the file that it's transcribing to see how close it got to uh, what was said. Now, the interesting thing about this, this doesn't, this doesn't happen in the uh, PC version at all. Uh, there's no transcription training like this at all. Um, you can set up a transcription profile and you can uh, read it text, but you don't have to. You can actually just open up your microphone profile, just go to tools and just go to transcribe recording. In fact, that's what I do all the time. I have my mic set up fairly similar um, in terms of their levels and, and the quality of their sound and it, it doesn't have any issues with it. Plus it means it, it's always using the same profile as my microphone, uh, my main microphone, and uh, I can make corrections accordingly. So it's a little different on the PC to the Mac and you'll notice when it's done with its training it will then transcribe the file and transfer it into whichever um, program you've requested it transfer it into. In this case, I think it's transferred into Word 2016 there. So you see how the interface is very different uh, now. It's, it's a lot cleaner. Um, it, it's quite dramatically changed, but it really is just aesthetically different more than anything else. Um, it's worth watching this video just to have a look at it and you'll you'll see how everything is um, centered on this dragon logo now up in the uh, toolbar on your Mac rather than as a separate program called dictate now what does all this mean because one of the things I, I do say in my book is uh, how the Mac version has always had its issues uh, mainly in terms of stability well there's a review here, this is from Macintosh How To, and uh, the program's recently been updated to version 5.04. Um, and it says, this review was done in September 2015. It's now four months later. We are up to Dragon version 5.04, and based on my own experience and the comments of people below, it's not getting any better. In fact, it's now become so unstable under El Capitan that I've had to stop using it. I've gone back to using the built-in dictation, which is pretty painful, but at least it doesn't crash. Um, and he says, the summary, the good, the bad, the ugly, crashes a lot, unstable. Now, you know, I, I've got to be realistic here and say that my experience with the program in the past has always been that it's, it's not as good as the, the PC version. It's not as fully featured, although that seems to be changing, thankfully. Um, and it, it's also a lot less stable. Uh, it does, you know, my experience in the past is it's always crashed a lot. Um, I, I've spoken to lots of people who are currently using version 5, or, or version 504 as it now is, and they have told me that the stability has improved for them dramatically, that it's much, much better now. Um, so it's kind of one of those, you know, tricky <laughs> quandaries. What do you what do you do? Do you go with the PC version? Do you go with the Mac version? If you've got a Mac, it makes sense, obviously, to buy the, the native version. Although you can run the PC version under parallels or something like that if you wanted to. Um, but my understanding is the current version 504 is uh, slightly more stable. But a quick tip. Um, when you use Dragon on your Mac and also on your PC, um, don't dictate into DragonPad, into um, Dragon's own uh, built-in word processor, if you're worried about the program crashing. Instead, dictate into Notepad 
uh, on the PC or text edit on the Mac because that will give you a program that is relatively um, low in overheads. It's not going to use up any, you know, any real processor or RAM or anything like that. So it leaves everything for Dragon to use if you like. Um, but also, if Dragon then crashes, then it's not going to take your dictation with it because the other program you're dictating into would have to crash as well. And that's virtually, you know, it's, it's very unlikely that's going to happen nine times out of ten. So if you're unlucky enough to get a crash in Dragon, at least you get to keep what you've dictated. Whereas uh, if you are dictating into the Dragon Pad and Dragon crashes, then it'll take Dragon Pad with it as well. So I think that's a workaround for anybody who has had any stability issues uh, on the Mac. And, uh, I, you know, I would say to use that on the PC as well, because do that on the PC as well, because this, you know, PC version's by no means perfect either. I do think it's a lot more stable, but it's certainly not perfect. So that's my, um, you know, conclusion really try and keep your dictation separate from dragon itself do that and you should find that if there is any instability if it does crash then at least it doesn't take everything you've just dictated with it so i hope this helps and uh, i'll see you again in the next video